So we're here with uh, Liberalato. And uh, who are you? I'm Dan Harris. I'm the managing director. The engine was invented by Ruggiero Liberalato. He's an Italian. It's a UK company. This is a next generation rotary engine. It solves the problems of the Vancor rotary engine because it has long escape path, uh, non-contact sealing surfaces. It has a very high compression ratio and it has an even higher expansion ratio on this side. It makes it about as efficient as a diesel engine using gasoline, but it's half the size and weight with very low emissions. It's an enabling technology for plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, which can drive pure electric in the city with zero emissions and use the engine for high speed, long distance on the, on the motorway. It means we can make electrified vehicles cost competitive without subsidy, reducing fuel consumption by about 70%. And this is for uh, gas, gasoline? It's a gasoline engine, but it's about as efficient as a diesel engine, but without the emissions. Without the emissions. But it's still gasoline, right? It is using gasoline, but if you have a, a vehicle that drives 50% electric and 50% on the engine, when the engine is operating at high efficiency and with regenerative braking, you still reduce the fuel consumption by 70%. And that's cost competitive with conventional vehicles, actually cheaper than, than diesel vehicles. So what are you showing here on the, screen, on, the, on the wall? The background is showing you how you can use the engine as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Um, we, this is the testing that we've done previously that shows that the engine is about as efficient as a diesel engine using gasoline. And over here, we show how you can use a 48 volt system, which is a relatively low power system, but it's very low cost to drive the vehicle in congested urban traffic in a very low cost way, which is cost competitive with conventional vehicles. So is this uh, on the market? No, we're working with the UK Proving Factory and some other partners to get the engine into production. We think it will take about five years, hopefully a bit less. Um, we've got some demonstration vehicles in the meantime and hopefully we will connect with uh, larger uh, car companies to, to get the, car, the engine into mass production. So uh, how many percent of cars should be using this? Well, um, we think that um, we think that all cars should be able to drive electric in the town, in the city, and use a high efficiency, low emission engine for the for the motorway. An engine like this, hopefully, it could be maybe five percent of all cars. So basically, every hybrid should be getting your system in there. Well, our our big vision about the future of mobility is that the most cost-effective way is for the average car to be able to drive electric in the town, in the urban cycle, and use the engine for higher speed and longer distance, and that makes electrified vehicles cost-competitive without subsidy.